Hi my beauties and welcome back to my channel. As you could tell from the title of this video, it's going to be my August monthly plan with me. I'll be using my August mystery kit to do this plan with me. But before I start, I want to show you guys the September mystery kit sneak peek. If you do follow me on Instagram, you already have seen it. But for those who don't have Instagram accounts, you can also follow me on my Facebook page. The September mystery kit will go on pre-sale this Monday, August 1st and will end on August 7th which is the following Sunday so for pre-sale you get it at a discount price plus free shipping anything that's after that will be regular price and shipping is not included as I said before for this video I'll be using my August monthly kit from my August mystery kit Before I forget and before we start, I want to point out that the Happy Planner that I'm using is the classic old Happy Planner, whereas this one here you see with the stripe is the new one. Now there is a slight difference of the title sticker um, where it says August and then 2016. The old one is actually a little bit higher than the new Happy Planner. So in my kits, those who receive the Happy Planner and are using it, I made a sticker to fit the old classic one. If you are using the new Happy Planner, all you have to do is just trim the top part of the sticker off once you've placed it down. And it won't compromise the design or anything because I did design it that way. It's better to have it bigger than smaller. I think the difference between the two title pages, title bar, is two millimeters so it's not a huge difference but still I went with the classic one because as I said it's better to have more than less okay let's get started with this month's kit there's no layering effect so you could put any sticker down any way you like it doesn't matter which one you put down first so for me with the titles I like to start with the inside out because there's a line that I could line up the sticker with whereas if I do it the other way I have no guide so that's why I like to do it from inside out and position my stickers like that. I am also going to do the same for the other side and again from the inside to the outer pages. Next I'm going to fill in the blank date box with the stickers. Most of you guys may know that this August kit I did some reformatting and with the monthly kits I actually included three extra sidebars. As you can see the heart check boxes are new to the kits and I felt that it's a great option for you guys to build your own sidebar. So here I am just going to build my sidebar with what I need for that month. Plus, the ones that you don't use, you can always use it for next month or any other month or even for your weekly spread. In Canada, we do have a holiday in August, which is Civic Holiday, and it's the August 1st. Here I am just figuring out if I want it on the top or at the bottom of the square box. And obviously, first of the month, there's always a bill due. On the 20th, we do have a wedding to go to, however, that is an out-of-town wedding. Also with the new reformat, there are two washi strips. I am going to use it to indicate which day we'll be traveling. On Sundays, my little ones have city program activities to go to. And next, I'm going to mark my paydays because we all love to know when we get paid, right? Next are my garbage and recycling schedule that I like to put down on my monthly spread so I know what to bring out to the curb. And here I have to move some stickers around because now I'm going to do my Etsy shop. And of course, the September mystery kit is going to go on pre-sale on August 1st, so I have to make room for that. <laughs> Because we have an out of town wedding to attend, I've decided to close my Etsy shop on August 16th and will reopen when we get back on August 23rd. 
Next, I'm going to indicate my days off with these new day off stickers that's included in the kits. On the 12th, my little ones have a birthday party to go to, so I'm just going to indicate that with a cake and a page flag. And before I forget, I did sign up my daughter to day camp on the 8th till the 12th. So with the second washi that came with the kit, I'm going to put it through so I know it's the whole week that she will be attending camp. Looking at my spread, I wasn't too happy about the mini flag box I've used on Sunday to indicate the city program, so I just took that off and decided to use the page flag with my little guy sticker on it. And lastly, my date nights with my husband. Just need to know which days we need our babysitter to come and babysit the kids. Now it's time to ink everything down. I decided to use a deep purple color to mark everything. And we are done. Time to put it back into my planner. I just feel like this August is gonna be super busy judging by all the stickers and things that's going on this month. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this monthly plan with me video and I'll see you in my next plan with me video. Happy planning. Bye.